Well, hey there, fairies. This is Jesse, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tiro. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell down below for me. Also, we're going to be maybe posting this on the Fire Goddess Tarot as well because we're going to be branching out and kind of doing different things on different channels. So, hit it up. So, the reason why nothing's down there, we had to kind of kill the subscriber account. So, thanks for tuning in, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Crosswatcher. Cross -watcher. If you're tuning in, something's going to click with you on the message. So, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe on those buttons down below. Starting all over again because I guess somehow, some which way, my stuff got hacked. I got a letter from Homeland Security. My FEMA stuff got hacked. It was just a big old crazy mess. So, any which way, I had to wipe out the video, so please do me that favor. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get everything going back the way it was here in the Fire Fae Garden. And then we're going to branch out to other ones to keep kind of certain things separate. So this is our love reading for the mid of September 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, right? For September, maybe dealing with a cancer here, possibly somebody making a lack of indecision, a lack of direction. They're not sure where to go, what to do. That makes sense because, yeah, somebody has been putting work into this pentacle right here, not so much worrying about the tree, okay? That makes sense right there. All right, Leo, we're going to get into it. It's a 10-card cr uh, Celtic cross. Stuff will be in the links down below. Uh, this is the Sierra Marchetti deck we're using right now, the Gilded Tarot. we got a couple other ones. But somebody here is maybe getting out of their head over a situation, maybe mental-wise, maybe communication-wise. It might have been a self-imposed prison, you know what I mean, because she's hugging herself there. If not, you know, somebody's just getting over a lot of heartbreak. And that's okay. It happens. Sometimes you got to take a time out, right? All right. So let's shuffle, let's shuffle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, as above is below. Let's go ahead and pray so much for everything that you've given us, the waters, the rains, the heavens, the earth, everything that you do for us and everybody around us. Please protect those that we care about, Spirit. Thank you so much. We love you. So want to be. Amen. Let's get into it. We just call everybody Spirit due to the fact we don't know who believes in what. Okay? I don't want to offend nobody. That's all. That's it. That's all it is. So let's cut it. Mm hmm Somebody's wanting some communication to come in where they're wanting to explore, they're wanting to go have some fun, they're wanting to go do something, maybe you, Leo, maybe the cross watcher, I don't know. We'll see if it comes out again. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's cut it real quick. And we're going to pull this and then we let the other ones flip and do the talking. So, ooh, there's the page of pentacles with the two of wands in the reverse at the bottom, eight of cups. Somebody still has not made a decision on whether or not they want to move on from something. That's why they're still sitting here studying the situation. Somebody is maybe still a little new to how they need to proceed with their emotions and their feelings in this 3D world here, okay? So internal, external, immediate energy around us is maybe you, Leo, or an Aries. You could be dealing with them. My, my camera is a little dirty and fuzzy. So, well, there you go, guys. Is that a little better? Can you see better now? We love you, Samsung. Look at that. There it is. You see that gilded tarot right there? Look at that. It probably is me because I have it all set off differently because everything's been moved around. Why is he not focusing? There he is. Oh, because it's focusing on me, not the card. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Any which way. I don't know nothing about filmmaking. So thank you, Samsung, for all the love. So Aries, Leo, totally you standing in your power. This is that energy where you could be just sitting on your throne and surveying your empire, seeing what needs to be worked on, seeing what needs to be fixed, seeing what needs to be adjusted, if that makes any type of sense. Okay, so let's get down here into those cards. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know. I just feel like it's just dirty, guys. I just feel like the camera is dirty. Okay. But we're going to just kind of keep her moving. Right? Right. Okay. Conflict. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe somebody was being overindulgent here, living a little bit beyond their means. I hear keeping up with the Joneses usually when this card is in the reverse with maybe an earth sign here. That's why maybe the childish communication is coming in back and forth with the page bringing the communication. And it's very slow communication as well. 
So where you're seeing it right now, seven of pentacles popping out again, where you're currently seeing somebody's working on this pentacle right here because they know they've got these six other ones up here in this tree, but they're trying to see what they can do with this one here. Okay. Is what I'm hearing, but it's very hard work that they're doing. They are putting in effort. They are putting in, you know, work towards the sheep as well, but they're kind of more focused on these little tree pentacles, if that makes sense. Maybe you were dealing with an Aries or possibly a Pisces in the past. This is ruled by Mercury. So this uh, magician energy here. Somebody here in the past, Leo, probably you were manifesting. That's why we have the Emperor showing up as well. We were manifesting here a new beginning, possibly for a, this new Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you were wanting to make, to make a love offer to somebody. Somebody was wanting to maybe make a love offer to you. Okay, recent past, dude. Five of Wands. Somebody wanted to avoid this, though. Somebody wanted to avoid the conflict, avoid the fighting with the Leo. Maybe somebody was wanting to get out of a relationship as well. Future energy. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles here could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Remember the Queen of Pentacles? Okay. That maybe this might be what the conflict is. The Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles may have been a couple. But they're looking away from each other. Maybe that's the conflict, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. What's down here at the bottom? A lack of balance here. Maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius. A lot of fire. If not, this is you, Leo, just emulating these energies right now. Masculine and feminine, feminine energies do go back and forth. Keep that in mind when you're watching readings, okay? Plenty of other readers out there. If you don't resonate with me, like, share, subscribe, please. I love you. Thank you. Okay, you guys are awesome. And if you are watching and you were with me and you subscribed again, thank you so much for dealing with the madness. Namaste. What we don't see coming in. Yeah, the two of cups in the reverse, though. This love offering was what we didn't see coming in was somebody didn't get this love offering and somebody maybe thought they were. Hopes and fears. Yeah, they're hoping this was their ten of cups or they're fearing that their ten of cups may be done or out of whack or it's out of balance. Even though Leo or Crosswatcher, they were manifesting the hell out of this. Somebody was. Maybe an Aries is the problem. I don't know. What's the overall outcome? Still, somebody is working on getting out of their head, working on getting out of that despair mode. You still might have lapses in that issue where you're being all sad and mopey and to yourself and keeping yourself a little isolated, which there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes you need time to heal. Straight up, guys. Like I said, somebody still has that desire, that emotional attachment still to not walk away. But see, this other you, Leo, here is defending that door. And you're like, no, nah, you're not coming back through. And I'll be a big asshole if I have to, okay? I don't care what you say. Um, somebody's not letting the burden go, okay? Maybe you, Leo, have let it go already in the past and the other energy has not. Because somebody was not holding themselves accountable in a situation. So, Leo, you stood in your power and became the sun and did what you had to do. So now they're spying on you. Now they spying's on you. Spying's on you. Okay, what's next? What's our clarifying? Do we want the right or wait or do we want the bitty? I want the right or wait. All right. Ooh, look at that Ace of Cups. Beautiful. There's an Ace of Cups. There's an Ace of Cups. But I saw the Seven of Swords pop out, too. So let's be careful. We're going to give it a shuffle. I know. These cards are so big for me. I got to get them trimmed and edged up and mod them. Look for a Facebook uh, group called Tarot with Scissors if you guys like to mod your decks. Because I do. The Hierophant and the Page of Pentacles yet again. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, okay? Or maybe you're wanting somebody to give you an offer of commitment, of stability, of... You know, maybe some type of stable foundation here could be with a job, could be with a Taurus, could be in a relationship here. OK, but I think it's very coincidental that we had these two energies pop out over here. And that's what somebody's maybe not wanting to do yet. They don't know what to do about this commitment. And maybe they are choosing between two people. I'm seeing the similarities here, the two and the two. You know what I mean? I did shuffle these, but we didn't get to cut them. So maybe we should cut them. 
But we'll keep those just because those popped out. Obviously, they needed to. So let's next. What's our emperor, though, spirit? What is that? Yeah, see, somebody here, Leo, probably you in the past or the other energy, maybe if you were dealing with another fire sign like an Aries like yourself, there was a lot of options in the past. They had a lot of work. They had a lot of friends. They had a lot of family. They had just a lot of things to do on their plate. And maybe that's why somebody didn't offer this love of, of commitment or offer this message of commitment because we've got the page twice. If not, we've got maybe two kids here in the situation. All right. But we've got the Nine of Pentacles as our conflict in the reverse. That was way too many. But we'll see. All right. Take it easy, spirit. Yeah, see, here we go. Somebody's out of balance. We've got the temperance in the reverse twice popping out here. So this conflict, the reason why somebody is being very smothering, somebody is overindulging, somebody is trying to hold on as much as they can here, Leo or Crosswatcher. However, the energies are going back and forth. You let me know. Okay, you got to let my dog in here in a second. Always got to let the dog in. That's, that's, that's my life right now. So, I'm dog-sitting. Um, congratulations to my cousin and his new wife. I love you guys. So, hold on. Hold on, let me get the dog. All right, and we're back. Hey, guys, sorry. Mm -mm -mm. I know, I should probably have done that when the camera was still off, huh? Bye. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, excuse me. So, back to the reading. So, now we're going to go back up. Where we? I'm looking at the magician right now. Something tells me, let's, what's, what's the magician here? In the past, who was manifesting what? Was it you, Leo? Was it the other energy? Could have been a Pisces? Yeah, somebody was trying to manifest here maybe a relationship, a long-term type of commitment, maybe even some type of career situation with the Hierophant, because that could be some type of larger institution, corporation, government agency, something along those lines. You know what I'm saying? A job. So, however you want to look at that. Um, family owned business, you know, things of that nature right there. But this energy here was just very lazy. They didn't put any effort towards this. Okay. They were maybe wanting to manifest something, but they were expecting the energy, to, the other energy here to put in all the work, this energy here. But they didn't. This, this energy was only being lazy and putting it on their little pinnacle. They just made sure their stuff was good. So what's that seven of pentacles? Well, cheesers. Somebody was victorious here, putting that hard work in and put, making their pentacle go work for themselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Making sure we didn't drop up. Yeah, see, there's the damn Scorpio. Death always be hiding and popping up. Mm-hmm. So... Somebody is victorious in making this transformation and moving on and going and looking for their happily ever after. They're waiting somewhat for their ships to come in with the three of wands. They've got the higher ground and they've decided to make their decision and move on with this. We're going to try that again since everything went left. So spirit, oh, cheesers, come on guys. Work with me here, Sparrow. Work with me. Please, clear, concise, compassionate, loving message for us. The Crosswatcher, Leo, mid-September, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, please, and thank you. Love you. Sometimes. Sometimes. I am very grateful for everything that you guys do. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me blessed with this lovely phone. I love this phone, man. It works so great. So, what is the five of um, Well... Why? We were looking at the Seven of Pentacles. Why am I going on the Five of Wands? That's why. Because it's time for the Five of Wands. It's not time for the Seven of Pentacles, right? Okay. So we're going this way, Spirit, right? Is that what we're doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going backwards. We're going counterclockwise. So what? what is it? What is the Five of Wands in the reverse thing? The Five of Wands in the reverse was that avoiding conflict, and they're wanting to put this fighting, all this, you know, back-ass word communication, this conflicting communication, this fighting, this mean words down. And Leo, you decided to take a stand and stand in your power and go into hermit mode, maybe with the Virgo, maybe, wow, that's a lot of major shit right there. So Leo... Virgo, Gemini, or a major decision, Scorpio, or an Aries here, okay? So you decided, Leo, to step away from all the fighting, all the resolution, and you wanted to go after your new beginning, your new happily ever after, maybe even try and go have a new child. You have stepped back. 
you took a moment, took to your little star here, listened to your heart and decided to make a decision about going towards a major love. All right. Or leaving a karmic partner. Okay. Take it as it resonates because somebody's walking away. All right. And there was that judgment call that came in. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Just could be those energies right now. All right, because normally when we're embodying a Scorpio energy, you're making a transformation and a change in your life. That is what they are about, Pluto and Mars, the death and the beginning. We have the King of Pentacles, see? Somebody here, that's what I'm saying, that's why. The greedy, somebody was being greedy emotionally wise, material wise with their time. Um, this earth sign here, uh, Leo, could be the Taurus I'm hearing. Or cross watcher, if it's a Taurus. Could be a Virgo, though, too, as well. We got the Virgo here. What's this Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles? We're going to pull some other cards, too. Yeah, see, here this Queen of Pentacles, maybe this Earth energy here. Maybe if this is a long-term relationship, Leo, you were trying to get out of or you're wanting to leave. Or somebody was wanting to get out of, but somebody may not be wanting the other one out of it. Do you understand? Some people want out. Some people don't. You know how that conflict goes. This is somebody, though, this energy, this Queen of Pentacles energy, somebody who was willing to win at all costs. They didn't give a shit what it took to get these other swords. They were willing to hit below the belt. They were willing to go nasty. It, it's a tactic and strategy move, okay? They did whatever they could. They paid people. They talked to whoever they had to, pretend to be friends, stabbed whoever they needed to in the back to get this situation to where it was okay this per these two people are very greedy all right leo and cross watcher so that's why this person was greedy because this person was dealing with a greedy individual because maybe you found out they were married and this is their karma if that makes sense it's nothing to do with you leo you need to get the hell out of it stand in your emperor energy and work on getting your balance back again because you've got it in the you got it in the reverse twice. Like, so if that's not telling you something, I don't know what it is. So, yeah, see, the reason why you're so out of balance is because it was like a love at first sight type thing, okay? This knight, he is passionate. He's quick. He's swift. He's smooth. He's charming. He tells you everything you want to hear. He's boisterous. He's fun. Could even be the woman, too. Like, when she walks into a room, everybody's like, hey, you see her? She's pretty. Oh my God, like people just hate her because she's pretty and then men just want to love her because she's pretty. You get where I'm going with that. So and this person caught your eye and you went after it. OK, Leo or cross watcher, however this worked. And it was that love at first sight thing for each other, not realizing somebody maybe already had a commitment and some kids at home. If that's one story, doesn't have to be everybody. That's just a scenario coming through. Yeah, see, what we don't see coming in is somebody, okay, they couldn't really offer this, I'm telling you. Now we're getting a little bit more specific in this story here, Leo, okay? So this love could not be offered due to the fact somebody was lying and getting what they wanted out of this situation, okay? And going and having their fun and exploring other things elsewhere. Could be you, could be an air sign here, could be a water sign, okay? I don't know. You tell me how the players work in your story in the comments down below. Subscribe. <laughs> so let's see here. Ten of cups. Ten of cups. What's the hopes and fears? Why we got the ten of cups here? We're hoping for a ten of cups. We're fearing we lost our ten of cups. Which one? Could be either which way. The king and the queen right there. When somebody is upside down and the other one's upright, it's not always the best. Yeah, see? Somebody is making a decision to move on or leave this situation, maybe with a cancer, or somebody has decided to stay with a cancer or maybe decided to stay in a situation where they're hoping they stay with their family. If not, I... Uh, somebody was hoping for the happily ever after over here, maybe with you, Leo, or maybe with another energy, but somebody just genuinely couldn't offer that. I guess that should be the title. Somebody wanted the love, but they genuinely just couldn't offer it. That sucks. 
then you shouldn't be dip diving and sliding see this was about to come out in the upright but it came out in the reverse somebody's losing hope here in this situation of somebody making a choice or a decision or somebody may be coming back leo or you them or getting balance back in this situation here somehow some way Or an Aquarius is in the picture somewhere. That's the air sign. Very well could be. That was a chunk. Anything. Cheesers, come on, man. Take it easy, spirit. Take it easy. What are we losing hope for? What are we losing hope? Somebody's losing hope here. Why? What are we losing hope for? Yeah, because somebody feels like they were being deceived, manipulated, getting smoke blown up their ass. Okay, because there's the magician now in the reverse, and there he is in the past manifesting. Somebody feels like they manifested this all for absolutely nothing, or they were trying to manifest something, and it was never actually ever going to be able to happen. Let's do our other Sierra Marchetti deck. This is the Kipper deck, uh, the Kipper Fin de Seacle. I, I can't pronounce that. Okay. Yeah, okay, so something happened here, right, in the family room. There was a thievery about love, somebody's emotions. Somebody was lying here and um, being false with their emotions here or being false about loving somebody else and having another a lover here. All right, and there was some unexpected income that came from this because probably somebody got bought some damn gifts to shut them up and keep them happy is what I'm hearing. Somebody was like, here, but baby, I love you. Have this diamond. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny. I'm just, I'm sorry. But if not, somebody's getting a divorce and they're like, yeah, yo, I'm making out in this deal. That's why the Queen of Pentacles is up here looking that way, sitting fucking pretty. She's like, I'm going to have my set of cups regardless with or without you, nigga. Mm-hmm. Is that it, Mr. Marchetti? Marchetti? Marchetto? Marchetti? Sierra Marchetti. Hey, am I saying that right? Marchetti. Marchetti. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Now, well, all right then. What else? We got some other ones, right? 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 Oh, you hear my dog there scratching away? Well, one of them. Got plenty here right now. Dog sitting. All right. What's the goddess has got to say, spirit? Thank you so much for your messages. Thank you for the clarity. Anything else? Oop, there was one. There's. Take that too. Mawu, you're called upon to help with environmentalism. So go out, go get some grounding, go plant some plants. Take care of your garden and things of that way. There's a golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. So you need to walk through them, Leo. So maybe you've been working hard to manifest something in the past. Maybe even with a career. Maybe the love shit may have fell through, but your career is going to go on point. So focus on what you can work on right now. And don't let anybody try and take anything from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because true love, the romantic stir, uh, stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So maybe in the past you went through some bullshit. It was a crappy marriage. Somebody was cheating, this, that, and the other. Did the worst. Did the crappiness. You know what I mean? Stand up for what you believe is right, though. Stand up for the kind of relationship you want, though, with somebody. All right? Nothing wrong with that. Where's our love? Where's the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Okay. Doreen Virtue, Love Angels. I think everybody has these. Whoops. Heart to heart conversations. Told you, somebody needs to have a true conversation with somebody here. Screw it, we'll take them all. I don't think those go with this, though. Engagement, there's children here. Yeah, see, somebody's the reason why somebody might have children and they were out dip diving and sliding before they went and got married. Pay attention to the red flags. It doesn't matter if you got chemistry with this person or not. You understand where I'm going with this? Somebody's being a thief and it doesn't have to be with money. It can be very much with love. All right, somebody might pay you the hell off. Be careful if you get pregnant by somebody. They might be telling you you have to get... um. Something, something. What's our rebel deck got to say? This is that swearing deck. Here we go. We like to, I like to swear here. All right, let's see here. Yeah, take a shot. 
Don't take 12, take one, okay, maybe two. Take a shot and move the hell on. See, they're telling you to move on, Leo, or a cross watcher from this situation. However this works. With this last full moon, it was a purging full moon, so a lot of people are going to get their energy back and stop, you know, maybe if they had a depressing first half of the year, it's going to start coming back to, you're going to start feeling like yourself again. Don't believe every sh shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. I love this deck, the Rebel Oracle. This is so great. Good shit. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Trying not to swear. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Got it? Okay. All right, Leo Cross Watchers, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Jesse, your Fire Fae with Fire Fae Tarot. The Fire Goddess Tarot is coming up too. So thank you so much for that. Like, share, subscribe on that channel as well, depending on whatever, which one you're watching this on, okay? Because remember, everyone, want lo everyone wants love and only love is real, all right? So thanks so much, guys. Bye now.